We all the servants of the paraclete is a place that remains shrouded in secrecy. Now the attorney general is demanding answers because he says there are still so many New Mexicans who have scars from what happened to them. We went looking for answers too. Tucked away in the Hamas Mountains, this is the Servants of the Paraclete, a beautiful facility. The Attorney General says what happened here was ugly. The church should have put families uh, and safety first. Attorney General Hector Bavera says for years and generations that did not happen. The Servants of the Paraclete opened in the 1940s, treating priests from all across the country for alcoholism and psychosexual issues. Many of those priests ended up in New Mexico parishes, where the AG says the abuse continued. Clearly, families should have been, been notified, and the proper authorities should at least had ample opportunity to know what they were dealing with. Now, Baldetis is demanding records and documentation of any priest and clergy who were treated here and may have been involved in that abuse. He also wants to know what's happening here now. I want to know what is going on with that facility, what it's being used for, and also was it used in victimizing New Mexicans. Getting answers isn't easy. The paraclete sent a letter back to the attorney general saying it hasn't been associated with the rehabilitation of priests in New Mexico for over 20 years and the records he wants are irrelevant, privileged and confidential. We went to the facility to see if we could get answers. I've been instructed that the only one who's authorized is Father David and okay. he's the one you have to call. Okay, thank you. I've called thank him you. repeatedly. And we did call the servants of the paraclete multiple times. Our calls have never been returned. The AG says he plans on continuing his legal battle with the servants of the paraclete to try and get any records and documents if they still exist. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin.